All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is not. This is not gonna be a really edited video. Uh, this video is just like a video I just pulled out of my ass last minute. Basically, I'm gonna be reviewing all my horror shorts. I won't give a really brief. I will just give a brief explanation because I'm planning on making a whole ranking video when I make the end of the box. So yeah, we're gonna rank all like I don't know how many horror shorts. I think like twenty, twenty something. I'm not sure. But yes, this will include all the goofy paper shorts and the dinosaur shorts. And uh, all right, let's begin the ranking. The reviewing, my bad, the reviewing. Also, I will be ranking them based on the order of the playlist. So yeah. All right, let's begin the mysteries of the box, the prequel to the box. Personally, I thought the shorts fine. I don't really like it that much as I did. Um, it does give, it does, it does do its job as a prequel, and it does you know play out what happened in the box. But at the same time, the kills were very lackluster. And also, I think the story went on a little too short. And also, I don't think the characters like Gonzo and Teddy are really that crazy or important. But, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, guys. I recommend to rewatch Mystery of the Box and the Box because I will be making the end of the box soon. I don't know when soon will be, but I will be making it later this year. Next up, we have the box. Um, obviously, my editing was pretty shitty. That's why the camera is still like that. The box was pretty much my first main horror short, and honestly, I thought it was pretty alright. I think it still stands out. The thing is, like, it's still, like, compared to the ones I make right now, honestly, the the box is pretty okay. Um, the, um, it has pretty solid jump scares and stuff, and the kills are actually pretty nice. But realistically, bro, like, eh, it's nothing crazy to talk about, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good. It's better than the prequel. Toy Bunny Mugmans, oh my god, 30 minutes for no reason, such a filler ass horror short, honestly, and the thing is, I hyped this so much, honestly, it was just the Willy's Wonderland knockoff, kind of, but like, but like, honestly, bro, like, don't watch this, not only my voice is really squeaky, but also, it's just like, no, just, honestly, it's, it's so, like, mid, don't watch this, also, the characters are like, bro, like, no, don't watch this. However, I will say the kills are pretty sweet and it does have a little bit of charm, but still, don't watch it. Sorry for the, sorry for the notification. Massacre Freddy's has to be the most forgettable horror short I've ever made. Honestly, bro, this is probably the most forgettable. Honestly, really nothing happens. The kills are mid, the characters are mid, and also, like, it just doesn't make really sense. Honestly, like, and there's nothing really crazy about it. It's just a r random ass FNAF thing. Like, no, like, honestly, this is just very forgettable. You won't, you're not missing out if you're not, if you haven't watched this. The Halo remake. Ooh, damn. I really like this film. Oh, my God. I, it's really edited. I, the, the, the chase scene with Zeb and the cops, it's really good. Also, this one's more professional because it has more better editing and also has actors. You know, like, it's honestly really good. I really like it. The kills were actually pretty good, and honestly, I thought it was really nice. Um, always, oh yeah, and in the cliffhanger, honestly, I did say it was, like might be a sequel. I don't know when I'm gonna be making it. I don't, I don't even know if I'm gonna be making one. So don't get your hopes up for a sequel, but I might make one either way. I thought it was really good. If you were to ask me, it what my favorite horror short was like two years ago, I'd, I'd say Revenge. But right, if you were to ask me right now, it would not be Revenge. Revenge is so, it's like so basic. This is a very basic horror short, my bad. Um, and honestly, like, it is way better ones. Like, for example, the prom dance is just revenge, but way better played out. And, like, like no, nah, bro. Like, it's so goofy. Like, it's four minutes, but, like, like you could watch way better stuff in, like, four minutes, bro. All right, the dinosaur shorts. These are all in order, based on the timeline. Raptor attack. Ooh, okay, I really like raptor attack. I've talked to, like, some of my friends about it, and they said that the Raptor attack they think is the weakest. Personally, I really liked it. The The beginning fight scene was a pain in the ass, though. It took me, like, one hour. Like, if you can see, you can see I kind of recorded it in the daytime. But then, like, later here, you see it's more nighttime. Like, that's how long it took me, bro. And also, the editing, that editing is, like, kind of made, bro. But realistically, it's really good. I really like it. Um, It's one of my favorites, my personal favorites. But I do agree it's not the best. Dilophosaur, I didn't expect it to be a whole franchise or some shit like that, but Dilophosaur was, I really enjoyed making it. And the funny part is, I just filmed the Freddy scene just for myself because I thought it would be, like, really nice. But then I was like, you know, I can make this into a whole horror short if I could. And then I just uh, fleshed that out, and honestly, the beginning scene is probably, like, one of the best beginning scenes in the whole, like, dinosaur short franchise. And I really like it. I really like, um, 
this film. Rexy's the most Rexy was like the most edited one. Um, there was a lot of actors such as Braxton and and Banana Monkey and etc. and Mark, but um, it was really good. I really liked it, and I when I talk to a lot of people, they say like Rexy's like one of their favorites, which is pretty good. I I really like I really like Rexy. If you strike realistically, the best part is the ending. Um, they introduce Zoro and Charizard, but like Charizard dies. Spoiler alert. And the honestly, the the only thing they has for it is probably the ending. It's probably the weakest film. I'm gonna be honest. Indominus. Oh, when I talk to a lot of people, they say that Indominus is like one of my best horror shorts, if not my best. I've talked to a lot of people and they say that it's like my, their favorite horror shorts that I made. And honestly, I really understand. I re- like honestly the plot twist villain and um, like the editing. Honestly, it. And the part that doesn't really focus on kills, just mainly focus on the story. That's what, like, honestly, I really like about it. Um, I, I really like this film. Honestly, it's one of my favorites that I've made. And, yeah, give it a watch, man. Indominus Part 2, though, it's uh, it's good. The ending is really good. The fight scenes are pretty solid. But I will say I did, like, nerf all the other dinosaurs. And I hate that I did that. Honestly, I regret nerfing all of them. But, you know, like, I nerfed Rexy so bad. But, like, honestly, it's not as good as the first part. But second part's mainly about fights and more action. So, yeah. Don't boil the killer. Ooh, such a beautiful movie, bro. Okay, jokes aside, bro. This, obviously, it's not the best thing I've done. But as a goofy paper show, honestly, I, um, my, my goal was just to make it funny. I didn't, want, I didn't want to make it scary. I didn't want to make it serious. I just made it. I just wanted to make it funny. And, on, and think, like, and honestly, like, I think I kind of delivered. I don't know. I really like it, and I I really as a goofy paper short's good. As a as like a horror short though, like no, it's really bad. But as an like a paper short, it's pretty good. Don Pollo two, the new scene and the ending with Pastor Jeff was probably the best part. I really like the second one though, but it's way like the first one's way better. And honestly, I think I don't know. I I don't know what I did wrong, but I'm I don't know. I I don't know if, if anything was wrong with it. I don't know. But the first one's way better. YouTube, YouTuber Among Us was a pain in the ass to edit with all the walking, the editing, and the acting. I did not voice a single character. Ten characters, and I did not voice a single one of them. So editing was a pain in the ass. But, however, it, it did. It did turn out good. And yes, it's Among Us. It's dead. However, honestly, I still I still like it. I, I, I'm really proud of myself with the editing. And honestly... If I could, I would do another one. It's just Among Us is dead, bro. So I need to find out, like, another popular thing. I didn't have a lot of my friends voice it. But I'm not sure. I'm planning on making another film similar like this in the future. Steinberg, my first original horror short villain, kind of. Honestly, the first one is good. But however, Sonic and Spongebob were stupid. And honestly, them being dumb. Either It, it depends if you guys think it's funny or not. But where Steinberg, it's, it's good. It's kind of still, like... Still good and still have its charm, but yeah, Steinberg Two was pretty like long, and honestly, um, it took place like, kind of like right after the first one, and honestly, the kills were pretty mid and all like okay, honestly, I think I could have done way better. Honestly, Steinberg Two is probably the weakest out of all four Steinbergs. I'm not sure. Steinberg Resurrection was pretty solid. Um, not the best. The new characters were okay, and the kills like honestly, I. I killed, like, what, Darius, and, like, honestly, like, for no reason, like, honestly, and, and Leo, like, but whatever, it still had, it, it was way better than the second one, though, Steinberg 4, of horse I just made out of nowhere, honestly, uh, I don't, uh, <laughs> even I was joking about, like, why is there a fourth one, but, uh, it's not bad, it's, the fourth one is just mainly a backstory to Steinberg, and the backstory on, the backstory part I did was pretty good. Uh, Bugs Bunny's death was pretty cool, but also really unnecessary. But still, I really like it. And also, the final chapter, honestly, it might not be the final chapter. Honestly, it, yeah, I'm, I don't want to make a fifth one, so it is the final chapter. Stamberg vs. Dog is a joke video, so moving on. However, this is peak. Stamberg vs. Dog 2, the sequel no one, asked, no one asked for, but the sequel everyone everyone needed. W. No. Code Red, the original. This was, you, this used to be my favorite horror short. And honestly, like, before, like, the laugh was sort of before all that shit, this was my favorite horror short. And honestly, I still really like it. Um, the editing is great, honestly. And the fact that this could actually happen in real life is honestly the scary part. 
And I really hope this never happens to me or any of you guys because it's such a dick scary bro. The Code Red remake. Better than the original, but realistically, it was not that necessary. But yes, I did do all the things that I wanted to do before. And honestly, I'm proud of myself. I made a pretty solid remake. But yeah, I think it was better than the original, but but not by that long. It's still good, but not as good as the original. Random Stuff 2, what the fuck is this film, bro? No, bro, get this out of here. The Prom Dance, my most recent one. Honestly, I thought it was pretty solid. Um, However, I, like, the kills, the, the, the ending part was honestly, like, oh, not that bad, bro. This was probably my funniest. A lot of people, like, agree that this is like, probably my funniest horror short. The, the I'm a guy joke and the Spongebob parts and the ending with Spongebob and, and my dog was kind of like, but whatever. It's not that bad. Um, it's, it's like revenge, but better and longer. And that's it. Uh, thank you for for having me uh, for listening to me yap for like ten minutes about my horror shorts. I will be planning on making a ranking video when the end of the box is out. I don't know when it'll come out, but it will come out like maybe I don't I don't know like before summer hopefully. But um, expect a ranking like later this year. And honestly, um, if you could, like review other per your other people's horror shorts like uh like I don't know um like. All the killer bendies or the mask of dooms. Let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah.